it tempting at all to put Dame back in the game with the on? No. 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 I, I'm never going to. Um, I mean, if he was five points from his career high, maybe. But this game is a tough game. And, um, you know, sometimes you're going to be on the good side of that. Sometimes you'll be on the bad side of that. And you got to be able to respect your opponent. And Dame is going to always – He's going to have a ton of these games. He just had one the other day. Um, but he was on a heater, and it was fun to watch. But, you know, he can always use some rest as well. But we rode him as good as we could and, uh, you know, was able to take care of business. Is there any moment when you could tell that something special was happening with him? Yeah, I mean, he was very early, actually. He was shooting it so easy. Um, we ran kind of the first play of the game for him, and uh, they did a pretty good job early. And then we ran it again, and he came off, you know, came off uh, kind of by himself, and he's just shooting it so smooth and easy, and effortlessly. And I said, "Dang, it, it could be a, it could be one of those days." And he just, they just kept at it. Um, I'm not sure I know. I, I had several conversations with Dame over the summer. Um, that's kind of one of my things with Dame is I'm just telling him, like, you got to he, – he's such a great leader, and he's always been that before I even showed up. But I always felt like that's something I maybe could help Dame with, is just being more vocal in his leadership. Um, he mostly leads by example, you know, and he don't just talk to talk. And what I'm telling him is, you know, Dame, you have to like you have to be vocal about what you expect, and you have to demand what you expect because as hard as you work and as much time and effort as you put into it, you have to make sure that those guys are doing the same thing. And if they're not, you got to be at them. This is your team. This is your organization. This is your everything. You know, so you have to make everybody level up, and you have to be vocal about that. Um, and you got to stand on that. And so that really wasn't his, his first thing by nature to do. His first thing by nature to do is do everything right, and everybody's going to recognize it. And then by way of recognizing it, they step up. And I'm saying, keep doing that, but you got to turn up the screws. Um, and I've been proud of him, man. He, he's been, his, his leadership has been phenomenal. But uh, speaking about his, his game again tonight, I mean, when he's in that rhythm, do you look to get him more off the ball so he can just get more catch-and-shoot threes? Because, I mean, he was just launching from tonight, and it was a lot of catch-and-shoot. Justice has 10 assists. I mean, yeah. you've seen that a lot more. Are you trying to get that action a little bit more often? Yeah, I like to get him off the ball some. It's tough to double him when he's off the ball. It's easier to double when he has the ball. Um, so you would like to do that, but the game was just kind of flowing. There wasn't a lot of times where we can call a timeout and, and draw a set play, even though we have some that we can go on a run that we used. But um, I just love the, the connection of our guys that when they know that when Ant's on a heater or Dame's on a heater, you just find ways to get it to them or set screens for them or, you know, dribble handoffs to them. You, you just find ways, you know, that's a connected – um, group, we want to always be like that. Looks like you got kind of a chart of the course there in the, in the third quarter. Was that ever a topic of conversation or factor in your decision not to put him back in? No, it wasn't, but I did ask him on the bench. I didn't know if he uh, bumped knees or got kneed in his thigh. I didn't know, but he said, no, nah, I was fine. We did, you know, we did collide. But no, nah, that, that didn't factor in. The score and how we were playing were most of it. And then we're, we're going into – I think we got five games over the next seven, eight days, you know. So you, you always got to think about things like that as well. Did you get the defensive carryover from the end of the last game that you wanted? You know what we did? We did. We had, you know, obviously some lapses that every team will have. But I thought um, at halftime, I was kind of talking about it. I thought our third quarter defense was really good. Um, that was a time that, you know, we, we, we felt like there was a couple times in the second quarter we could have pulled away failed to do so, whether it was a turnover or whatever it was, but we failed to do so. We talked about it. 
and uh, the guys came out very focused defensively in the third quarter, and I thought that that was um, that was our best quarter of the game defensively. Coach Dana nearing the franchise record for points. Just, what do you think, or can you put into words what that means to this organization to have him do that? Well, I think we all have to, and I haven't seen it as much as you guys have, but um, just be thankful that y'all was able to witness that the whole way. You know, it doesn't happen that much. A guy stays with an organization this long. He's been so great for so long. Um, and then he gets to break, you know, uh, hopefully Clyde's record and one of the all-time greats as well. So it just means a lot, you know. Um, he takes a lot of pride in this organization, this city, this market, these fans. And I think that relationship is, is a two-way street. So I just think, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy it, you know. These type of players don't come around very often, you know. We're, we're all blessed and lucky to see it every night. Johnson, defensively, you said you a little discouraged by the physicality over the last couple of games. Mm -hmm. You feel like the, the point of attack defense has kind of picked up on the physical end? Yeah, I did. I, I thought we were, we were a lot more focused on it uh, tonight, you know, because it's a thin line because you want to be physical and set the tone, but you don't want to pick up early fouls. Because when you do that, then obviously your aggressiveness has to change because you don't want to pick the second one. So it's a thin line, but I thought we did a good job um, tonight of bringing the, bringing the physicality early.